What's good YouTube? It's TJ Love 5 here and I'm gonna make a video which is gonna basically chronicle me building the new airport. So as of now I filmed some parts of this video ahead of time so I'll just cut back to that later in this video in a few minutes. But yeah for now I'm just gonna make a series of videos and it's just gonna you know go through the steps of the airport from this bare table to the final product so let's just start with this first video I recorded and a new airport progress video and basically this is the table where the new airport at least one half of the table that will make up the new airport and this is the plan for how I'm gonna set it up also did a nice little simple sketch here one taxiway in the middle one at the end and planning to make the terminals just like that it's simple but it has a lot of gate space um and it should work you know it might change a bit but so that's you know the new airport obviously it's gonna move as i get rid of the old airport which is already as you can see um you know, it's already gone basically and i won't have this classic problem like look at all the little all of that, all of that. That's just dust, man. This airport was, because of its low, obviously, all the dust from my bed just falls on here. and That's just a whole nother issue right there. But, yeah, so I'm just going to clear this out. Push this table over. Have the second table. And put it right next to that one. And as I build stuff for the airport, you know, I'm going to, you know, show you it. Also wanted to show one thing off. The old runway in the airport, when it used to be just these three sections, had a runway. I, I forgot about that a while ago. But, yeah, this is just a quick video just to show off the first step in the progress of making the new airport. The first step being getting rid of the existing old airport. And second step would be figuring out, you know starting to build this up you know seeing what i can do with it in terms of you know getting down the foils obviously they're gonna have to be homemade for the most part but getting down the foils and the terminals and the jet bridges and you know dealing with all of that it's a quick video i mean that's all i really have to say so that's why it's gonna be a quick video and when it comes to foils here's what i'm working with i made these a while ago these are the same ones from the old airport that I just changed the background to gray, you know, a concrete grayish color. And yeah, I did this myself on Microsoft Paint. I'm not paying for anything besides the planes. Everything else I got to try to make or, you know, fake it. <laughs> but here's uh, just one sheet printed out of the wide body pad. Here's two narrow body um well, um, parking spaces and uh, just the the taxiway section in the middle. Um, yeah, so just printed three these three out to test it on the airport to see how it's gonna look. Also, what, what else did I make? This also like a you know two taxiways crossing each other. This was hard to make to get these curves. That was annoying, alright? That took me like a good 15 minutes, but that, you know, just goes with, you know, making everything on your own. Just doing it. And now we come back to the airport. As it is, the table is just pretty, obviously it's empty right now. Alright, yeah, homemade table. It's empty as hell right now. I am going to go print out some more of these. Um, ground foils that I made by myself and place them down and place the terminals down with it just to see how it looks and just to show off the you know how the foils look there's the wide body one here's just a simple taxiway and here's the narrow body gates holding you know the airplanes that will fit on them respectively 75 would be the largest and E170 would be the smallest and these gates are supposed to hold up to A380s, but 
I'll make those like custom because they got to be even bigger than a normal gate. But a 777-300 would be the largest out of these normal gates. But yeah, so that's how it's looking for now before everything's placed down. All the bits from the old terminal are just down there on the side waiting. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for now. So I think I'm going to end part one of this video right here with this. And yeah, thanks for watching as I always say. And I'll be back with part two where I actually glue everything down and place the terminals and see how it looks. Until then, peace out.